Hi guys, Shantin here. How are you? From time to time, I do talking videos. And what happens is that I normally, have I got a normal pickaxe? Oh, stone, iron, iron is what I want. I just mine and I use the opportunity to chat at the same time. Now, obviously, This looks as if someone's been in my mine. Interesting. Um, but normally, I will always try to mine and uh, chat at the same time. It's not someone else. I'm going the wrong way here. I've got myself muddled up. Right. I'm trying to do two things at once. Right. What I'm trying to do is to mine, because I need to mine. This is Minecraft. But I'm going to chat at the same time. Now, I have a new follower called Audrey. And Audrey has asked me for some tips on being a YouTuber. Now, I'm not the biggest or the best YouTuber, but there are one or two things that I think would help anyone who is starting out in YouTubing. And first of all, Audrey... I would assume from your name that you are female. And I think that one of the first things I would do is you've got to think that many people on YouTube are really nice, but there are some ghastly, ghastly individuals out there who will troll you and come after you. So the first thing I would do is to get a name that's neutral. My name is Shantin, you can't tell whether I'm a girl or a boy. And if you think of some of the biggest YouTubers, Etho, Mumbo Jumbo, people like that, they have names that doesn't actually scream whether they are a girl or a boy to you. And I would actually get a really good name, one that will last for a long time, that you'll be happy with for a long time. Spend some time thinking up a good neutral name and then set yourself up with that name. Now, when I say a good neutral name, um, one of my new friends <laughs> who I've met on a Discord rejoices in the name of Turbo Sex Possum. I have to say that's a, that's a name to live up to. And it's not exactly going to get the sort of audience you perhaps want. So I would leave words like sex out of it and I would definitely be careful given the way that the uh, people who run different social media are clamping down on people who might uh, be using YouTube or other social media to uh, spread the word on terrorism, I would be exceptionally careful about using words like killer, kill, assassin or something like that. Um, I know that one YouTuber too is called Jassassin, which, you know, again, it's, oh, uh, hello. It's not something I would use, but I would just say get yourself a good neutral name. Now, once you've got that, think about what social media you're going to need. You're going to need to have Gmail. And I would strongly suggest that you keep the same name. If you look at my Gmail address, it's ashantin3 at gmail.com. So basically, I'm using the same name, Ashantin, on all social media. And that is extremely helpful if you want people to find you, if you want them to actually follow you, if you, you know, if you're making YouTube videos for other people to see, it is extremely useful um, to have the same name all over the place. So I would just say that those are a couple of things on the name. Um, obviously, some names have already been taken. If you try to set yourself up as a Shantin, someone will say there already is an Ashantin. You can't have that name. Um, so you just have to, you know, think what you're doing about all this. But it's really worth the time thinking about a decent name. Set yourself up, on, as I've said, on Gmail. 
uh, obviously your YouTube channel will link to Gmail now to set yourself up on Gmail they're going to ask what sex you are and I defined myself as male now I may get a lot of websites um, I don't want to be involved in but it does keep trolls off my back because I'm not defined in a certain way so it, it's very good to perhaps not be um, wholly clear on that side so once you've got a name um, then the next thing to do I think is to think about a logo and this is where you can really um, I think help yourself have a logo that you stick to certain people I know are constantly constantly changing their logos and you get used to a logo you look for it you know you look for that person you think oh yes that that is that person that is that person and my logo actually um, is one of those logos that's put together for a reason it's quite um, a sober logo <laughs> uh, but then I'm not exactly the wildest of people um, so think about a good logo and think about what it says about you because logos do say things about you you'll find that people that are doing funny chatty videos tend to have cartoony logos people who like gardening tend to have uh, flowers so you will find that people have logos according to their areas of interest and your logo can be pretty neutral as mine is or it might be incredibly attractive or it could be incredibly off-putting depending on how it looks and remember it's going to be small so something that looks good in a large picture may not necessarily look good in a small arena so think about your logo I've done a whole video on why I have the logo I have but my other piece of advice is get a logo that you can actually stick to and use the same name and logo in all social media it just really helps really really helps um, and again it's a question of recognition people knowing who you are and of getting the right impression about you now one person who became a friend uh, on Twitter of mine uh, was whinging that she got a lot of trolls who were coming after her and I had a look and she'd got a name that didn't help she was clearly identified as female and what had also happened was that um, she had surrounded her name with hearts which was all very sweet and very twee but it didn't help and also she's a very uh, she's what I would describe as a fine looking woman and however fine you look she it was rather a um, attractive photo she'd used for her little logo and that combined with the hearts and her rather unfortunate name was giving the totally wrong impression about what sort of uh, Twitter feed she was running and the trolls came after her so think about what you're doing quite carefully I would say that every moment you spend thinking about it in advance like most things in life the more time you spend thinking planning and getting it right first time the better it is so I would strongly advise you to do that um, that's on the logo side the next thing I would say is to think about I don't know I suspect you're going you would want to do a games playing channel um, think about what games you're going to play and if you need an avatar think about that as well now a lot of female avatars um, particularly for Minecraft are sort of cutesy little girls and they all have sort of mini skirts and boots and the hair over one eye nothing wrong with that if that's the impression you want to give um, let me just go to f5 
Oh, hang on a minute. Um, where are we? We go to E. Right, let me just take my armor off. If you look at my skin here and my avatar, right? I have both eyes showing. And if I walk forwards, right, you can see this is actually meant to be a spacesuit. I designed it myself. It's got an A on the shoulder. This is meant to be diamonds and steel bandolero and a diamond and obsidian head headpiece. It's meant to be obsidian. Now, I'm not saying it particularly looks like that, but it's giving an impression I want to give, which is of the sort of person I am. So, you know, what works for me won't necessarily work for you. But when you put your avatar together, think about issues like that. Think about how you look to other people. Now, there are some people who are much, much better at designing skins than I am. Um, Phoenix, who plays on this server, is fantastic at designing skins. He has some gorgeous, gorgeous skins and gorgeous, gorgeous looks, you know? But not everyone has that sort of ability. So do spend some time thinking about, on whatever your game you're in, think about what avatar you want, what you want to look like. So that's all to the good. Now, the other thing I would say um, on this is I would strongly advise you not to start with a webcam. Now, if you're doing one of these videos where you're teaching people makeup and how to make up and stuff like that, then it would make an awful lot of sense um, to have a webcam because you can't teach makeup without putting makeup on. But ask yourself, why would you want a face cap? Um, it makes you easily identifiable. And also, you're going to get a lot of criticism anyway if you make videos. You, you have to have a bit of a thick skin and accept the fact that you know you may not always get stuff right and you know people might not like what you're doing that's fair enough but uh, what you do want to be careful of is that you're not putting your own appearance particularly being female up for criticism that may be hurtful and bitchy for no reason other than people can so that's why you need to be a little bit careful about that. Now, if you feel that you have to use a webcam, think about what's in the background. Cameras are amazingly uh, good these days on computers. And remember, when people enlarge stuff, they can see everything. If you leave a credit card out, they can see the number, they can see the pictures on the walls, they can enlarge everything. So if you are gonna put pictures up think about what's in the background. Now, when I first started doing YouTubes, um, I started on the uh, iPad version of Minecraft, which was the Pocket Edition. And I do vividly remember a girl there who made videos talking about things. And I watched her and she was videoing in her own bedroom now. She was perfectly, neatly, decently dressed. Nothing sexy, overt, anything about her. Her bedroom was immaculately tidy. However, there was a double bed behind her. And of course the trolls had found her. And because she was videoing herself in front of a double bed, it was not a good look. So if you are actually videoing in your own bedroom, I would very strongly, if you're going to use a camera, recommend that you put the camera so that your back is to a wall or to somewhere where you control the impression you're giving with people. And I think that's actually quite important. Personally, I don't use a webcam. If I want to make videos and talk to people when I've just washed my hair, that's fine. Nobody knows how I'm dressed. Nobody knows what I'm wearing. And I think that's the way I would very much like to keep it. So you need to think about that sort of aspect as well. The other thing is, 
there's something about the amount of energy that you put into a game that needs to be considered. Uh, when you are playing video games, a lot will depend on the energy you put into it as to what you get out. For example, if I said, hi, a shant in here, let's go and do this, blah, 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 you know, and you're sh shouting your head off. Um, I'm just going to tell someone I'm videoing. Um, I'm recording. Right. So if I were going sort of down that route of being the, um, you know, all singing, all dancing, huge energy YouTuber, great stuff. Um, you know, I'm sure I'd enjoy it enormously, but it's exhausting. It's absolutely exhausting. And what's more to the point, it's not me. I'm a really calm person. Um, so again, if you are going to make videos, I would suggest that you try to be yourself. Some people will like you, some people won't. I am so calm, it's unbelievable. And I'm sure a lot of people find my videos much, much too calm. However, I do have a huge following amongst those who suffer from insomnia. And I do know that, <laughs> I do know that a lot of people tend to listen to my videos late at night. And the reason for that is because I'm so calm, my voice is quite low and quite soothing. Um, it's not the sort of video that's going to get you excited. And in fact, one person complained that he has to watch all my videos three times or five times because he keeps falling asleep. <laughs> I think it's fantastic and I really don't mind. I just want to use my own voice. Now, the other thing you have to accept is that people won't always like your voice. My voice is very much a love-hate voice. Um, I have what is called in England uh, a cut glass accent and a lot of people will react against it because they won't like my accent. Now I myself find that some people's voices are too harsh for me and I just cannot listen to them. In fact, very people that I like very, very much, you know, and I, their voices are too harsh. I just can't take it. I can't take that amount of energy. I'm a calm person. I like calm voices. And you'll also find that people can be an absolute sucker for certain types of voices. Now, I'm listening to someone called To Asgard, and I listen to Joe Hills, because the Nashville accent, Nashville, Tennessee accent, drives me wild. Southern American accents are absolutely gorgeous. I'm listening to a guy from Portugal uh, called Draconic Rose, and he has the most wonderful accent. And some voices are just gorgeous. Etho, the very, very huge YouTuber, I'm sure that half his success is the fact that he loves making calm videos. He involves his audience all the time, but more importantly, He's got a great voice, absolutely great voice. Um, I could listen to him for hours. His voice is so good. And I'm sure uh, that that's a lot of his success. So that's another uh, sort of aspect you have to take into consideration. Right, those are covering some of the basics. Um, the other thing I did want to say is that people search for videos that one of my family members is sneezing and this person sneezes so loudly that for a long time most people thought I had a dog um, right so I'm saying don't swear keep it family friendly I had terrible trouble learning not to swear on camera and I think I did in fact swear on one occasion um, I actually fell in lava and if you'll excuse the language guys I remember saying oh bloody hell I've fallen in lava and everybody commented that's the only time that they've really heard me swear <laughs> I was 
beside myself. I was uh, videoing with a lovely lady, BU for you. And again, you wouldn't know she was female if you didn't know about her. Um, and just fell into lava. That was it. <laughs> One of these things. But try to keep it, I would say, PG. I'm not sure if that's a term in America. Family friendly is the term I'd use. Remember that quite young kids, you're supposed to be 13 to listen to YouTube videos, but very young kids also listen to them. And I think if you, if you set yourself up as being family friendly from the beginning and try desperately to keep it family friendly and to keep what you say nice uh, so that anyone can listen to you, and I mean, certain subjects I'd love to talk about, I don't talk about because I want to keep it family friendly. And I don't want someone to have to explain to their young child what various terms mean. So I am very, very careful what I say on camera. And I think that's the only way to be, actually. I think you've just got to be very careful. So I would again advise you, um, you may end up like me, I sound like a bad Agatha Christie film half the time um, saying things like good lord and good grief and things like that that you know I didn't actually used to say normally the one thing that has been a benefit to me is that I used to use very bad language a lot of the time and since I've been making YouTube videos because I've had to keep it uh, family friendly I have actually improved my swearing so that I don't swear half so much in real life and again my friends do find it a bit odd that I'm using these sort of old-fashioned things like saying oh good grief and good heavens and things like that but um, it's very nice if you have young children around you know that you're not swearing like a trooper so I would advise you not to swear so <laughs> well Audrey let me know whether you find this video useful. We've covered getting a neutral, long-lasting name. We've covered getting a logo. We've covered using the same name and logo all the time. Phoenix, you keep changing your logo. Drives me crazy. Um, we've covered possibly not using webcam to start with. And by the way, if you do have a camera on your computer, stick a piece of sellotape or a last applause or a yellow sticky over it to hide the camera you never know who's going to creep in on the voice decide from the beginning whether you're going to be high energy or like me fairly calm and accept the fact that not everyone will like your voice and then keep it politically correct so if you have found this useful let me know but audrey that one was for you Bye-bye.